Now, one last thing we're going to do. Just how, see how we changed the scale, right? What I'd like you to do is go back to your original data and let's copy that one last time and let's use um, some space over here on the right to have one more set here. <coughs> so we changed our scale. We uh, multiplied everything by, let's make it 100 times bigger because that's what I wanted. That's change of scale. Now what I'd like us to do is change our origin. So this means we change where we measure from. Okay? So for instance, what I might do is I might say, oh, you know what? I measured all of your heights and you were all wearing shoes. Okay? Every single one of you was wearing shoes. And I'm just going to magically guess that everyone's like, size of their heels was, say, two centimeters tall. Okay? So now I want your actual heights. I don't want those original ones. What am I going to do to take away that two centimeter heel? What am I going to calculate? Minus two. Original ones, minus two, right? Now my original data is in meters, so I'm not going to do the original number take away two. I'm going to do the original number take away 0 0.02, yeah? That would be the effect of two centimeters. So could we just take the, the oh yeah, you could. That's fine. I'm, just for the sake of consistently, let's just start from the original set of data, and we'll just muck about with that. Obviously, you could do it from centimeters, subtract two. We could observe the same things. I'm going to do the original data. I'm going to take away that two centimeter heel so I get your actual height. I press enter. Okay? Now this is just one. So what am I going to do with this to get the rest of the data? Copy paste it all the way to all my other rows. And I get this. Okay, now this is what I want to ask, right? What differences and what similarities are there? Uh, let's have a look at the variance first. I'm going to highlight that in blue. Can I ask you to compare original variance and variance when I've changed the origin? What change was there? It's minus two. Have a look real carefully. The variance. Maybe if I just hide this middle one so I can make it a bit bigger, you can all see it a little clearer. Have a look at the numbers. That number's bang on, right? Think about that for a second. What does variance measure? What is variance about? Like the word itself tells you. Variance is about how, how, how much variety is there? How much is this data spread out? It's a measure of spread. Yeah? Now when I took all of you and I just subtracted the height of your shoes, right? Are you more spread out? Are you less spread out? You're still exactly as spread out as you were before. I've just taken two off everyone. So that's why the variance has not changed. Tell me now without even looking at the number. Tell me how much the standard deviation is going to change. It's, it shouldn't change, right? Because standard deviation is the square root of the variance. We just established that the variance did not change. So therefore, your standard deviation also should be the same. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, and that's why all of your numbers should match. With one exception. What number has changed? There's one calculation that's changed. I haven't highlighted it yet. Look carefully. Which number, which calculations actually changed? Say it again a bit louder, Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standard deviation. Yep. So just look up the top there, right? I'm going to highlight this in, um, uh, what's another color? Let's do green or something like that so you can see it's different. The expected value, which in this context is the mean, that's changed. Why has it changed? We took all our data and what, what did we do to all of it? We moved all of it down. Do you agree? So if you moved all your data down, your mean goes with you. Your expected value also shifts down. So therefore, these calculations down the bottom, they are dependent on the expected value. So if your expected value changed, then those guys will also change. Does that make sense? And hopefully you can see they're all two centimeters shorter than what they were before. Right? You've shifted everything down.